left fielder. 286 this summer, and he's going to bump that one up as a single to the left field side. Gets past the third and shortstop right between the hole of Bade and Johnson. And first runner reaches for Keane. And he'll take the first pitch, hit this one on a fly to center. The Lamalier will settle under it and retire the side. So the Mainers cannot bring Isaac around from third base. Runs batted in. The 1 1 from Mullen is going to be drilled out to left field, going back, and it will hit off the foul pole. A two run home run for Garrett Rice, and it is Keen jumping up early, two to nothing. Just kept it fair to Garrett Rice. And Keen gets the early lead. It looked like it might hook just foul. It also looked like it may have not had enough right off the bat, but bangs it right off of the foul pole. The 3-2 is going to be ripped on a line into right field, gets down. Tumiel fielded and fired in, and it's a single for Alec Rich. The third hit of the inning for the Swamp Bats. That 0-2 comes, and it's going to be swung on and missed by Jeremiah Jenkins. Eric Chalice able to bounce back to, against the second hitter of the inning and record his first strikeout of the game. The 3-2. Tumio lay off of it in there. Strike three called. The 3-2. Off-speed pitch finds the outside corner for strike number three. And talk about resiliency from Eric Chalice Jr. after a leadoff double by Devin Bade. Bounces back with strikeouts of Jeremiah Jenkins, Jack Toomey, and Cody Bowker. Cordova, the hitter, he's the nine-hole hitter tonight or this afternoon. He's going to rip this one up to second. Diving attempt by Rosselli, but it gets into center field. And for the third straight inning, it'll be Keen with a runner on as well. The 1-1 will be chopped to third. Diving attempt by Johnson. It'll go off of his glove. That'll be a single for Garrett Rice. Sure against Upper Valley in game two. It was Logan Petit last night, and it's Levi McAllister returning behind the dish as this one's lined out to right field for a single. Stopping at second is Owen. And it's Bazo keeping this inning alive, coming to the plate. Instead, it will be the shortstopping Cordova fielding a little pop out, and that will be a 1-2-3 inning, the first 1-2-3 inning for Eric Chalice Jr. The 0-2, strike three called. Isert looks back, but he can't do anything about it. Chalice Jr. strikes out Eddie Isert to strand Levi McAllister at first base for the Mainers with Cam Johnson facing Tyler Tornberg. Tornberg goes off speed, gets Johnson to whiff. And that will be out number one. A big out number one is now a ground ball. Could end the inning. Here's in batting average at 3.08 with Eddie Iser. He's going to hit this one to the shortstop, Cordova. Six, four, three. And Tyler Tornberg escapes trouble. The double play on Devin Bade. And now the 2-0. This one delivered to left field. Valker will play it on a hop. And he throws it in as Ramsey's Cordova has his second single of the game. Because they, um, they now have an option to. Jeremiah Jenkins will strike out and he'll lose the batch of the at-bat outside for ball two. Newell deals off speed, got Whitehill to swing and miss. The 0-2 from Newell will go off speed at 81 miles per hour to get McAllister swinging. So three strikeouts for Will Newell as he works around a single in the bottom of the eighth inning. The 0-2 from Newell, swung on and missed, hung on to by the catcher in Bazo, and the Mainers will be retired. A huge strikeout with two runners in scoring position, including one 90 feet away in Nick Roselli. And he delivers the 3-2, and he gets Jeremiah Jenkins to go down swinging for the third time tonight. Now one out, alive. The first pitch to Skaggerlin is going to be popped up. The catcher, Bazo, settles under it. And Keen takes this one two to nothing behind dominant pitching 
Will Newell with a three inning save. Eric Chalice Jr. with a five inning shutout performance. Tyler Tornberg with a hold in between. And the Mainers losing streak extends to three while the Keen winning streak extends to two.